The only Olympic qualifying event in North America for skateboarding gets underway right here in Iowa tomorrow. Some of the top skaters in the world have already found their way to Des Moines. However, the rain and wet terrain means that those top tier skaters had to find another place to practice. And as reporter Justin Sorensi found out, many of them chose a popular underground skate park. Ryan Kennans and his friends have a passion for skateboarding. So they created their dream of a private, hidden, indoor park, Helter Shelter. Like they see like a little sketchy building out front and then like they drive back and they don't see nothing and then all of a sudden it's like you open up to this and they're like, oh man, this is cool. With skateboarding's only U.S.-based Olympic qualifying event beginning Wednesday in Des Moines, this secret facility has now seen a list of who's who in the sport. So far we've had Japan, Russia, uh, London, um, Canada, Brazil. Rainy days causing Olympic hopefuls to use the space for a final prep for the competition. It's insane watching them. Like, you see stuff done that you never thought would be done before. American Alec Majerus is one of the top 300 on Earth invited to compete. I never expected there even to be an event here, you know? And when I heard they were building that huge skate park, I was like, what? In Des Moines? It's so cool. And it's in such a good spot right on the river, all beautiful. He heard of Helter Shelter by word of mouth. We came out here and it's been raining. And so we, our practice got canceled today. And uh, a couple of the locals were like, hey, we got this park, you know, Helter Shelter, come through. Raised in Minnesota, he appreciated a Midwestern invite from strangers. Everybody's friendly and, you know, especially like skater to skater, like it doesn't matter, like, Anything, as long as you skate and they skate, you're friends. From professional skaters needing practice time here in the Metro to young children wishing for skateboards instead of soccer cleats, the residual effects of Lawrence and Skate Park are already making waves. It's the biggest uh, competition of the year for Olympics, and um, yeah, it's just Des Moines, putting Des Moines on the spot. Skateboarding making its Olympic debut in Tokyo. For Rogeris, the road to Japan must go through Des Moines. It, it's kind of scary, you know, it's a little bit like nerve-wracking. It makes it a little more pressure than a usual event because you know what can come out of it.